We are back, ladies and gentlemen, with another video. Sean Boyle, owner of 360, coming at you. And this week, guys, I'm going to be teaching you how to create Matterport 3D scans right from your iPhone. If you haven't yet, stop, go to YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, wherever you're watching this from, click notifications and go to post notifications and turn them on as well as YouTube. You click that little bell so whenever we post a new video, you are the first person to know. So hopping into the process of how to do this thing, what you want to do is I'm referencing at matterport.com slash 3D slash camera slash app slash iPhone. So you want to go to that website and check it out if you have any other questions after you watch this video. But the process is pretty much the same, guys. You are just using your iPhone instead of the camera. So I have an iPhone XS or XR, I forget. But you want to get at least, I'd say, an iPhone 10 maybe an iPhone 10 because that way an iPhone 10 has just incredible uh, camera quality and ability and the amount of features are just pretty pretty decent so I would recommend using the iPhone 10 at least the iPhone 10 um, to start off with if you have an iPhone 7 iPhone 8 I would try to upgrade because the camera is it's a lot better in the iPhone 10 as you know so to dive in what you want to do is go to matterport.com and create an account. If you haven't yet already, you're gonna get the capture app, which you should already have downloaded on your phone. That's step number two. And step number three is you're gonna log in with that uh, username and password that you created. It doesn't really matter what subscription you have, it's just you need to have one. Um, for us, we have the business subscription. So we pay like 300 a month, 100 spaces, active spaces. Once you have all the right credentials you want to go in and then with the capture app as we're going to put a video right here you actually can scan it right from the iphone so i want to play a little video for you guys as you can check this out right here So this was a tremendous video. I love this because that means there are no barriers to entry anymore. You pretty much have a free camera if you already are, you know, using your iPhone, but it's just a tremendous way to go ahead and shoot properties. If you're, you know, a photographer, or you actually have a virtual tour company, your photographers can use this. This is what you're going to be using. You're going to have to scan it kind of like Google Street View makes you shoot 360 photos so you can become a Google trusted photographer, which that was in my last video. but. You just have to go literally scan, scan, scan. You're scanning just the center out in front of you, the baseline, and then you're going to be scanning up top and then below. So you're going to reiterate, you're going to be scanning what's right in front of you, straight forward, horizontally, and then you're going to be shooting a little more uh, vertical and then a little more um, of a uh, anti-linear um, path. So on the ground, up top, or I'm sorry, on the ground, baseline and then up top. That's really what you're gonna be shooting. The best results are with the iPhone 11, as you can see right here. And then they also support the iPhone 6, which I didn't know, okay. Once you actually are finished shooting, you're gonna to upload to the, um, you know, your main portfolio, your main account, and it'll take about a couple hours for it to actually finalize. Once it does, 
you're going to be able to, you know, pretty much do whatever you want with it. Tag it, label it, whatever you want. Kind of just like how the video said, you can do it exactly how uh, you always do with uh, the Matterport camera, whether you're using the 3D Pro or the 2D Pro, 2D Pro Lite or the Ricoh, doesn't really matter. So guys, if you haven't yet, drop a like below. Your feedback and your love means the world to me. It also helps us grow. It makes more videos a lot easier. So if you haven't yet, please subscribe or like. If you have any other questions whatsoever, please let me know in the comment section below and have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much and we will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.